Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, what's going on, man? This is nine one one. Oh my god. Sorry, what's going on? Hello. And what is his address? What's his address? What street are you on? Lee? Sir, what street are you on? Alright, what's your name? My name is Rob. Rob, what's going on? Okay, Rob. It's been Second and Lee don't cross. Where where are you at? At this um at a condo. Okay. Do you know what the address is? What hey man, I'm trying to answer this guy right here. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Rob, tell me what's going on. I've got it. Where are you at? <laughs> Rob. Yeah. Tell me what's going on. Somebody's been shot. On July 4th, 2009, Steve McNair was found dead from multiple gunshot wounds along with the body of a young woman named Sahel Kazimi in a condominium rented by McNair at 105 Lee Avenue in downtown Nashville. He was 36 years old. Kazemi and McNair were previously involved with each other romantically. The day of the shootings, text messages between the pair were exchanged proclaiming their love to one another in which Kazemi texted the victim, quote, you love me, in which McNair replied, quote, I love you, baby. There was also a conversation about financial issues when McNair transferred $2,000 to Kazemi, who claimed she was stressed and needed to pay her phone bill. McNair then offered to come over to check on her after she said her chest felt heavy. The night of his death, McNair put his children to bed. Then at 11 p.m., he texted Kazemi that he was on his way. McNair had been shot twice in the body and twice in the head, with only one of the shots coming from closer than three feet. McNair was believed to have been asleep on the couch when the shooting occurred. After killing him, Kazemi sat on the couch beside him and turned the gun on herself. The bodies were discovered by McNair's friends Wayne Neely and Robert Gaddy, who then called 911. And here we are! on 2nd Avenue and Lee Street here in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Pretty nice neighborhood if I do say so myself. I'm going to take you to the exact condo where on July 4th, 2009, Sahel Kazimi shot and killed Steve McNair and then turned a gun on herself. Coincidentally enough, two days prior to this occurring, Kazimi and Steve McNair will pull over not too far from over here. They were doing 54 in a 30 mile per hour zone. They were pulled over by a police officer with the Nashville Police Department. And coincidentally enough, he had pulled over and arrested Steve McNair five years previous for a DUI, which was thrown out of court. So when the cop pulled him over, he's like, Steve was like, hey, you remember me? He's like, yeah, <laughs> I remember you. You know, because you made me look bad. Anyways. So, Kazimi was arrested and charged with DUI. And if you look at the video online, a very telling sign. She's getting arrested and the cop lets her use her cell phone to call Steve and tell her where she's going to be at to come bail her out. And then before she hangs up the phone, she says, I love you. And he says, okay, bye. Wow. Maybe that was the straw that broke the camel's back because when she got out of jail the following morning, she went and bought the gun that was used to commit this crime. If he would have said, I love you back, who knows? Maybe she wouldn't have snapped. Maybe it would have delayed the inevitable, who knows? But it is right there, unit number four, is where this crime occurred. 
Very, very eerie to say the least. Who knows if she still would have done it. I'm assuming that she would have. Anyways, pretty nice area. I don't know if he rented it for her only and he was just coming there to get some whatever. Uh, of course, uh, people say she was the girlfriend, more like the mistress, whatever word you want to use. But anyways, so we're going to drive down to Mississippi. Uh, we're going to go visit the final resting place of quarterback legend Steve McNair. And here we are in Prentice, Mississippi at the Griffith Cemetery right off of US Highway 84. And right next to that highway, next to the fence, if you drive by, you will see the grave of NFL legend Steve Air McNair. Alpha 1973, Omega 2009. These three things continue forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Corinthians 13, 13. I was watching that Super Bowl. It was the Tennessee Titans versus the St. Louis Rams. And this man was literally one yard away from winning a Super Bowl. One yard. He should be a Super Bowl champion, but just, uh, if you guys remember that game, when that guy caught the ball and was just stretching, stretching, and just couldn't get it. I, boy, I bet you this guy was just jumping in his shoes, man. He was almost a champion, but. It's just a very, very, very sad story. This man was brutally murdered in his sleep, didn't even see what was coming to him by a coward. Murdered by a. A crazy coward, too. That goes to show you, uh, they come in all shapes, sizes, sexes, religions, everything. Everything. Right, rest in peace, Steve. And um, I got to get going, guys. I got to hit the road. I'll catch up with you later. Take it easy and peace out.